Welcome to the channel. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Join me today for the much anticipated review on the Zealous Swordfish 40mm dive watch. As you can see in front of you, I've got the teal dial. Recently did an unboxing. Um, these are the newer versions. Uh, they've done another relaunch uh, on the previous Swordfish 40. They came out with some uh, different color options basically. Exact same watch as the first Swordfish 40. Uh, and of course, the, the predecessor is the 42mm to the Swordfish. Very, very popular watch. That is a stunning dial. So, the Zealous, how many do I have? I've been a little bit mad, I'll be honest. I've got the teal dial. I've got the version 1 as well in the frost. Let's take a look. Took off the bracelet, I'll put the bracelet on the brand new one. And I'll show you the other one that I've got as well. They come in this really nice wooden box. Uh, and that's something I really like what Zealous do. They have changed it, as I mentioned in the unboxing. They give you this pouch now, no more uh, leather watch roll. That was a really nice roll as well, to be honest. But they are trying to reduce size. Um, I get it, so it's fine. But giving you this, you know, reusable packaging, uh, it's nice. And you can use it for a whole host of other things. Let's open up this patch. And here we have, it's a frost version, um, but as you can see the difference. So this was uh, the new version that they did. So they changed a few things, you know, darkened the indices, darker bezel, darker hands, same orange second hand, but they've just put the little gray in there. Now, there's plenty of reviews, right? We know why these watches are so popular. And um, when I initially got this one, I was literally taken back. And I can say it, this is probably the perfect watch. Now, very subjective. You know, hear me out. There's so many watches out there. But I'd say with these watches, they've hit, you know, all the little markers, all the little points that we talk about as watch reviewers. You know, we talk about, oh, it hasn't got a signed crown. The logo's a bit this. You know, the watch doesn't do this, it doesn't do that. I mean, just look at this little slight attention to detail that Zealous have paid, right? So, let's check out the crown, check out the case shape, check out that logo. I think that's a perfect logo. You know, hands, dial, the construction of the watch, that lovely um, bracelet. Just have a look at that. You know, they give you the high-end clasp, solid end links, solid links. So many different colors, you know, they're all limited edition. And that on that side, um, the business side of things, their marketing is absolutely phenomenal. You know, guys, how difficult it is. Uh, you've got to catch it on the launches, right? You get a very good uh, value for money. If you do, and even if you don't, you catch them just after, you know, it's, I guess the price is justifiable, but the demand is absolutely outrageous uh, on these watches. And Elshan, you know, the creator of the brand, um, like I said, he's really been listening. I don't know. I mean, you can only get here if you've really been paying attention to the watch reviewers, the consumers, you know, all the feedback that people give um, to bring it all into one and come out with such a fantastic piece. So the waffling over, let's uh, go ahead, let's have a closer look, give you some specifications, some dimensions. So I kind of already mentioned the diameter of the watch. We've got a 40 mil case diameter, yeah, 40 mil, okay, log to log on the watch, 45.3, case thickness 12, under 12 and a half. And that's why I'd say this watch is borderline perfect you know the dimensions they've got them spot on they've got them absolutely perfect in my opinion and how do we say that you know how do we quantify that you know you look at all the polls out there i've done a few polls as well and you know out of everybody there uh collectively the 40 mil case diameter is the most preferred right um i think that dimensions are sweet on this watch the colors of course you know the various options they do and they've hit everything so they do the basic dials to sandwich dials to sunburst dials, to uh, meteorite, Damascus, you know, bronze. And he's hit every single part of that market so well. They all sell out. Uh, absolutely phenomenal watches. 
Um, and you know what? Two hundred pounds, uh, roughly, I'd say that's about two what two eighty two hundred eighty dollars, um, just under three hundred dollars. Get these on launch. It's a steal, absolute bargain. You've got to remember. Look at AliExpress, right? San Martins are near enough that two hundred pounds. Now with the NH35s, you know you got the Submariner Homage one seventies, etc. But look at everything you get. You get that wooden box. You get the pouch. You get a fantastic watch which hits, ticks all the boxes, right? Same clasp. Look at that detailing on the clasp, fully brushed. Look how the light catches on these small links, making the watch very comfortable on the wrist. Striking dials, good logos, and with the newer watches, they've color matched. All the date wheels. I don't know if that was present on all the colors on the previous uh, Swordfish, but it is on this one. Uh, so specs, if you don't know already, Sapphire Crystal Full 316L Stainless Steel uh, Construction. You've got uh, a brushed steel insert, which is fully loomed. Uh, you've got a Seiko Epson NH35 movement. Um, if you don't know already, it's a very super, super reliable movement by Seiko, 24 joules. Hacking and hand winding it comes with a date complication, as you can see. Uh, so it's modern enough and it's got beat rate of 21,600 vibrations per hour, which means it's got a smooth sweeping tick of six ticks a second. Let's have a check on the bezel. Right now we can check consistency as well. So I've got three here, which is good. I always like to check for consistency. So let's have a look. 120 click unidirectional bezel. You've got these illuminated markers, as I mentioned. All the way up to 15 minutes you've got the markers here which is a requirement for a dive watch not to say this is iso rated uh, i don't think they actually are so very solid bezel very tactile feel let's go again Perfect. Solid clicks, um, very accurate, precise as well. And just the construction on the bezel as well. Very well done. You've got this uh, almost matte sort of finish in between. The grips, polished, um, brushing. Just great, great craftsmanship and detail present all over the watch. And that is what initially um left me quite speechless when i first uh bought my zelos and this was i think my first micro brand along with the richard Le grand uh, ocean fairer that i've reviewed so looking at this in that detail that i normally like to go into you know deep into watches i was taken back so let's check this sounds a bit different um but this has been worn in properly uh just bear that in mind and it's like a double click. But alignment is there. Let's go across to the frost. Yeah, very good consistency. Let's take this off. I really love the colors. I like how they just put it all together. Very bold watch. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. So let's have a closer look at these dials. So they're all sandwich dials on the swordfish. We've got so many different uh, color options, varieties available. And just have a look here. So from the sunburst, uh, this teal dial, very popular color, uh, by the way, very popular. Sells out just like that, in the blink of an eye. So let's go in a bit closer to the actual dial. Minute track around the outside. As I mentioned, sandwich style. Now there is a little difference on the frost. We look at that when we look at the loom shot. It's a very, very nice and, you know, very nice difference. And just have a look at this shape here. 12 sided polygon or 12 sided shape here. And it's just sitting between the bezel and it separates that from the crystal. And I really love that slight feature. Just look at that. 
fit and finish of the crystal um and that's you know they, they didn't need to do it but the fact that when time did it gave the watch an extra dimension there some more craftsmanship some more attention to detail is mind-blowing you've got a little polished highlight as well so as i mentioned the case is more or less fully brushed about i'd say a good 98 99 percent but when we look at just the crown guards and you've got these half crown guards they don't come out too much as well look how slim they are and they just caress that crown then you've got the highlights on the inside of those lugs so check that out very sharp edged watch you know some really nice clean cut lines sharp lines In pictures and just look at every angle it just looks so good so let's give you guys a loom shot so this is what you get with the zealous amazing loom uh just absolute loom beast so let's start off with the one on the left this is the teal dial just check that out bezel insert the hour markers on the dial the hands and you can see the different colors but you know it doesn't look odd um, they complement each other. So you've got that very faint BGW9 around the minute track. And look how you've got that C3 looming over on the actual hands. Dial. The hands are actually distinguish distinguishable from the actual dial as well, which is great. Um, just ample, ample loom. And on also the bezel insert. Look how sharp and clear that is. Now the party trick here on the frost dials. If you do get them this is the bonus you get the whole dial is illuminated but i want you guys to really pay attention to how that has been done notice how it isn't glaring and super bright so we know bgw9 it can be you know it's got the potential to be really bright and so does c3 um but we look how it's like almost like a backlight like a digital watch and that's what i love about it you can still see the markers on the dial you can see the hand clearly right you can see the bezel insert and again they complement each other they don't really get in the way but then that dial on the background just look how subtle that is lit and this is the one i'm showing you right now is the newer version and there's no loom coming off there but they are darkened hands now what do they do they give you such a silhouetted appearance so you can still see that's fantastic now let's give it a little blast and let's see what happens to these watches when we do give them a little blast. So yeah, charge them up. Now let's go back. Okay, so with the, the latest frost oil, um, because you've got this grayed out loom, it is going to be a lot duller. Now that we've charged it up, you can see it now. And it's this very dark, dark green. Similar to the vintage loom that you see on watches. It doesn't really come out bright. But the backlight on that dial, you know, that BGW9, the way that glows, really does save it. And it's not a bright BGW9, so I could be wrong. It might be a different color, in fact. But just look at that one again. So for illuminated dial... Look how clear you can see everything. So it lights up my hand. That is some super loom. This is probably the most time I've spent in a loom video. Just absolutely amazing to look at. Right, now let's pay some closer attention to the case. Fully brushed. Good attention to detail. Let's get some focus on this. I love the facets. Yes, I've mentioned it's a edgy case. Got these sharp lines, but there's no sharpness on the case at all. Let's have a look at that side profile. The facets here, which are highly polished. The crown, the crown's a perfect size. It allows you to grip it. Good machining on there. Of course, that little Z. I 
as I mentioned, the inside of those lugs polished, brushed just between the lugs. It's a 20 mil bracelet. linear brushing and you've got a mixture of brushing and this sort of sandblasted in between the bezel grip the case back you've got the swordfish so you've got this matte sort of sandblasted finish to the case back and you've got swordfish 40 200 meters with a swordfish on the back of course and but you've also got a sapphire crystal. It is a bit plain looking at it actually. Um, but you've got a number. So this is 136 out of 200. So limited edition reinforcing that brand value. And that's what they have. You just look at the, um, you know, uh, secondhand sales prices. eBay is full of it. You know, you have people that do buy quite a few when the launch is happening. And then automatically uh, another 100 and 50 uh, pounds is automatically added to the resale value and that's incredible uh, for a micro brand to be able to do that and go where they are absolutely stunning so let's look at the bracelet now the bracelet is well you'll see the end links they are solid end links and they've got the male link present but it does curve down it does slope down so there's no need for a female link there uh, and also with a lug length of what around 45 uh, you don't need it uh, like I said on a six and a half inch wrist it sits almost perfect I'd say it does sit perfectly for me um, but there are those people that like the 39 and 38 mil watches um, but the bracelet look at these links very similar links to the Richard Lee Grand um, but fully brushed and you've got these highlights just on the edges where it's chamfered so 3d links a lot of attention to detail on this bracelet and that's what it does it catches light amazingly and it does all this light play without being polished um where a lot of bracelets tend to have polished links just to give you that you know um light play but this does it all with this 20 mil bracelet so from 20 mil it goes down to around what 17.7 so a slight taper to the actual bracelet which is always nice to see the clasp as mentioned we see this clasp on the san martin these are the preferred clasps now detailing present with the z solid clasp for me personally this clasp is too long uh, six micro just um yeah, it's just too long for a short small wrist actually now the bracelet does have additional feature here now this goes again comes back to how well it has been thought out of because there's no holes there's no drill lugs the bracelet does come with two quick adjust uh, pins on the spring bar so which makes changing bracelets very very easy but this will cause you a problem now, I never really noticed it until I noticed it. Then after that, I couldn't stop feeling it. So let me know your, th your thoughts in the comments once I mentioned this. Uh, I felt the, they were digging into me slightly. So where I find them digging in is just on this side always. Now, even if I wear the watch slightly there, um, I do sometimes notice it. It isn't too uncomfortable. But like I said, you will uh, feel it once you are conscious of it. That they do kind of dig in slightly. There is a flathead screw on the end of one of them. If you want to take it off, you can. Just a very small thing there, but now wrist shot. And just look at that profile. Just look at that. Let's do a wrist roll. And just look how that sits on a six and a half inch wrist. Beautiful case shape, great proportions. And that is why I say it's a perfect watch takes every box sorry every box the only other you know um i wouldn't call them negatives the the criticisms that you can make they have to be subjective um they have to be you know uh, i prefer this or i prefer that now i do have a few from me um i think one of the things is the text at the six is just too small 
you know you have to look quite close especially on the teal you have to think what does that even say and these are i'm just you know uh nitpicking here if i can and that's just again very subjective now there's a pet peeve which i have i like the hands on my watches to have a slight point to it, a slight taper because i do like to pinpoint uh when i'm setting the time because with the automatic watches i don't know how everybody is um you know because we like to time and we like to see how accurate they are you know we you know i test i set it against my phone so as soon as it ticks over onto the minute i like to set it i just find with the minute hand um it's you have to kind of centralize it i do like the hand to actually taper so i can actually pinpoint the minute uh, but that's just that's just me right it's not a, it's not a problem it's not a negative with the watch that's just my little you know quirk if you will but for the most part it's okay i just find that i was taking a bit longer because i had to gauge it just right uh because i like to be as perfect as i can and that is it really um i can't really say anything else uh, anyone who buys as their first zealous is instantly hit with a zealous bug and this will happen to me bought it i thought wow love it then uh, when I found out they were relaunching this, I bought this in. I was I got a bit overexcited. I was going to buy three, but then I thought, look, just just buy two. Very very good watches, great value for money at and a launch price two hundred pounds. Um, and I think after launch it goes to two hundred fifty. So for that you get a hell of a lot for your money. Uh, you get a very incredible package. And if you want to spend more, you get just so much variance and uh, they've done a full bronze one and i think they've done they're the first to do a full bronze bracelet um so very popular and after this of course after i bought my frost i did buy the black tip which needs to be a separate review and again very it's just very similar um the consistency is key i always say in all my reviews consistency is key as long as a brand is consistent and with zealous you can just buy one randomly and you'll know what to expect from them and uh, they've got a good name for themselves not to say there can't be defects i think every person every everything has defects right to a certain degree but you just know what to expect really really well thought out well made well finished very practical as well you know uh he's obviously a watch enthusiast because either he's listened to everyone or he's actually thought about certain things and why he wants the design to be in a certain way on the watch so i hope you guys enjoyed the review um that's me done for this watch incredible watches again i have to say and if you get the chance pick one up you will not regret it thank you everyone for watching and i'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.